So recording is going to start now. Sorry. Yes. अगर अगर recording नहीं हो रही तो you should tell me. ठीक है. So let me revise these things so that uh, this comes in the recording. We are going to discuss linear algebra with differential equations. Uh, we have discussed what is a linear equation. A linear equation basically is of this form. Uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 9, in which uh, the variable powers are basically linear. They have power ones. An example which we have discussed: uh, a relation between degree centigrade and Fahrenheit temperatures. This relation is basically it can be uh, converted into a linear equation of a line. This is basically a daily life example of linear equation. Uh, a general linear equation. Uh, in n variables can be written in this form a1 x1 a2 x2 so on a n x n is equal to b this is a general linear equation in n variables uh, the, where the variables are x1 x2 x n where uh, a1 a2 so on a n and b are real constants they are real numbers so the example of linear equations are 2 x1 plus 3 x2 minus 9 x3 is equal to 7 And similarly, we can write nine x plus three y minus z is equal to eight. So any equation of this form, uh, where the variable powers in each term are basically linear, they are called a linear equation in n variables. We have also discussed equations which are not linear. These are uh, some of the examples of equations which are not linear. Three x one plus two x one x two is equal to minus one. Uh, This equation is not linear because we have products of the variables. Here, in this case, x one square root plus two x two is equal to three. This equation is not linear because here in this term, x one is not linear. Similarly, this is not linear. This is again here we have x power two. It is not x power one, so it is non-linear. Similarly, this is non-linear because x two uh, it it is basically in the denominator. so it should when it should go up here in the numerator it becomes x2 power minus 1 so the equation which are not linear they are called non linear equations i hope you get it if you have any question you can ask me uh sir maine pucha tha recording kab tak mil jati hai recording lecture ke foran baad mil jayegi yaar but okay. it is preferable ke aap lecture attend kare online because during the online lecture you can ask me any question if you have any confusion but in recording you won't be able to ask me any question sir i have a question ji bole beta sir jo modulus functions hote hain wo unko hum linear kahenge matlab like if there is some mod function yahan pe uh, for example let me write an equation 2x1 plus mod of x2 is equal to 9 it is not linear because any equation of that form humne form kya batayi hai a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus so on plus a n x n equal to b any equation which satisfy this criteria theek hai this is the general form koi bhi equation agar is form ki hogi then we call it linear otherwise it is not linear theek hai okay sir thank you So, so if we just uh, if we just remove these uh, modulus signs uh, in front of x2 then it will like be converted into a linear one yes we can convert it uh, if we know the value of x2 it might be 2x1 plus either it is this or 2x1 minus x2 is equal to 9 so this is linear now this is linear now right okay. sir but yeah. when we have modulus here it is not linear सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन कैन जी बेटा अह सर ये मॉड्यूलस का जहां तक फंक्शन होता है जो इसका फंक्शन होता है वो यही होता है कि ये बेसिकली नेगेटिव साइन को जो है वो कॉम्पेटेट कर देता है तो सर लेकिन स्टिल द पावर पावर जो x की है वो तो 1 है तो फिर स्टिल इसको हम क्यों नहीं कंसीडर कर रहे एज अ लीनियर इक्वेशन अह वी शुड श्योर अबाउट द वेरिएबल्स कि वेरिएबल्स की रेंज क्या है उनकी वैल्यूज क्या हैं ठीक है इसमें कंफ्यूजन है पॉजिटिव है या नेगेटिव है it is a linear function but it is it may be a discontinuous function okay, okay? thank you
जी बेटा जी 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 बोले यस यस मेट्रिक फंक्शन लिए हो सकते हैं जी ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन लिए हो सकते हैं दे आर नॉट लीनियर साइन एक्स कॉज एक्स Any function which is linear, its graph is a straight line. ठीक है आपके पास जो लीनियर इक्वेशन होती हैं या लीनियर फंक्शन होते हैं उनका ग्राफ हमेशा स्ट्रेट लाइन होता है दैट्स वाई वी कॉल दैम लीनियर बिकॉज दे आर इंक्रीजिंग एट अ लीनियर रेट ठीक है वेर एज द फंक्शन साइन एक्स एंड कॉज एक्स दे डो नॉट इंक्रीज इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो दे आर नॉट लीनियर any function or any equation is linear whose graph is a straight line are you sir, okay if we, sir i have a question ji beta sir if we have an equation and that is not linear right yes. it is not linear and we using ln and log we convert that into a linear form so can we say that it is like following the rule this this pattern this a1 um, x1 plus a2 x2 it depends how do you convert that equation into a linear equation that transformation uh the original equation will not be linear but after using that transformation you can convert into a linear equation that is possible but we cannot say the original equation is linear but because it depends what kind of transformation you are using right sir thank you sir okay. sir okay ji beta sir do we call it a differential equation or a linear equation if it's not in the the general form for example if it is ax minus c is equal to minus b ax tell me ax minus c is equal to minus by this one yes sir yes is it, it is linear we can rearrange it yaar rearranging after rearranging we can write ax minus by is equal to c it is linear it is also linear we can rearrange terms it doesn't matter but the unknown variables must have power 1 they should be linear theek okay? hai i hope you get it yes sir yes sir so uh, now how to solve these linear equations uh aap logo ne pehle mathematics mein o levels mein padha hoga A levels may yeah metric FSC may we can only solve uh, linear equations uh, if we have uh, a linear equation in two variables then we must have two equations in order to find the solution x one x and y if we have two x minus three uh, y is equal to six and minus x plus uh, maybe seven y is equal to ten. so we can solve these two equations simultaneously or by a substitution method yes sir theek hai but we cannot solve a single equation with two unknowns if there are two unknowns we must have two equations in order to solve them we can solve them by using simultaneous method or by using substitution method we can take the value of x from we can find the value of x from here and we can put it here we can find the value of y and then substitution back we can find the value of x there are several methods um uh, for example uh, we, we are going let's discuss a simple uh, daily life problem what does this mean where do these equations come from for example you you go to the market and buy Three bananas at a certain rate plus two apples at a certain rate, and the shopkeeper or whatever he asks you for seven rupees. Seven, तो नहीं बहुत आजकल तो बहुत महंगाई है चलें थोड़ा सा ठीक है कर लेते ठीक है चलें twenty seven कर लेते you buy three bananas. ठीक है एंड टू एपल्स एट अ सर्टन अमाउंट एट अ सर्टन रेट सो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट विजिट टू दैट मार्केट उस दिन आप घर आते हैं ये तीन बनाना और दो एपल्स खा लेते हैं अगले दिन फिर आप जाते हैं फिर आप उसको कहते हैं कि आज बनाना इतने अच्छे नहीं थे एक बनाना 
ठीक है और चार एप्पल्स आपने लिए ठीक है एट द सेम रेट ठीक है रिमेंबर दैट द रेट शुड बी सेम एंड ही चार्ज यू मे बी एटीन रुपीज अब आपने ये फाइंड करना है दिस इज डे वन एंड दिस इज डे टू ठीक है पहले दिन आपने तीन बनाना और दो एप्पल्स लिए उससे एट अ सर्टन रेट यू डोंट नॉट द रेट लेकिन बाद में हम रेट कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं कि किस रेट पे आपको उसने बनाना दिए यहां पे फिर नेक्स्ट डे डे टू आपने एक बनाना लिया और चार एप्पल्स दिए उसने आपको अठारह रुपए चार्ज किए सो दिस इज सर आपकी आवाज जो है वो नहीं आ रही सर फिर नहीं आ रही सर सर आपकी आवाज फिर नहीं आ रही सर वी कॉन्ट हेयर यू सर वी कैन हेयर यू सर नहीं आ रही सो वट वी वर डिस्कसिंग एन एपल बनाना प्रॉब्लम यू कैन टेक अदर थिंग्स एज वेल सो डे वन यू परचेज थ्री बनानाज एट अ सर्टन अमाउंट एट अ सर्टन रेट टू एपल्स एंड द शॉपकीपर चार्ज यू ट्वेंटी सेवन रुपीज एंड द अदर डे ही चार्ज यू एटीन रुपीज नाउ यू केम बैक होम एंड यू वॉन्ट टू नो how much money i paid for banana and how much money i paid for apples theek okay? hai now you need to know the x and y theek okay? hai you need to find the amount x for bananas which you have paid and the amount y for the apples which you have paid so after solving this you can find x and y ठीक है आई आई होप यू नो हाउ टू सॉल्व दीज टू इक्वेशन सिमिलटेनियसली और यू कैन सॉल्व दैम बाई यूजिंग सब्सटीट्यूशन मैटर ठीक है सो आफ्टर सॉल्विंग इट यूल गेट एक्स एंड वाई नाउ दिस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन इज बेसिकली अ सिस्टम ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ two linear equations so system of two linear equation means uh, in you can say in two unknowns this one we can write this system into a matrix form how can we write it in a matrix form So three, we write one, two, the coefficients four. of x and y in a rectangular array of this kind: two, three, two, one, four, one, four x times y. x y is equal to twenty-seven eighteen. This one. This is how we can write that uh, linear system into the matrix form. Okay. Now, if we call this a matrix A. this a vector may be x vector and this is the b vector which is right hand side vector uh, i hope you know how to write vectors so that system uh, what is that system it is 3 2 1 4 three, 2 1 4 times x y is equal to 27 and 18 you get so this can be written as a times x is equal to b this is how we can uh, write that system briefly by using certain matrix notations i hope you have already uh, studied a little bit about matrices anyone yes sir 
सबने पढ़ा हुआ है मैट्रिस yes, के बारे में yes, 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 अगर कोई है जिसने नहीं पढ़ा हुआ है लेकिन भूल गए हैं चलें कोई बात नहीं इस तरह की चीज मैट्रिक्स होती है इतना तो याद होगा ना यस yes, चल बस इतना काफी है बाकी हम डिस्कस कर लेंगे सो सर आप एक्स के ऊपर एक लाइन भी लगाइए किसके ऊपर एक्स और बी के ऊपर हाँ दिस इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन Yes, all the vectors they are basically denoted in bold, small letters. Or if you cannot write them in bold, then you have to put a bar over or under them, just to show that they are vectors. Okay. And, and matrices, matrices are basically uh, usually denoted by capital letters, and vectors are usually denoted by small letters. Uh, and they are called vectors and we show them with a bar over the letters or under the letters you we can write yeah, it I in this, this way question sir why yeah. won't we consider x or b as matrices okay we will discuss it later on when we'll discuss matrices okay sir uh, i have a question about why they are vectors uh the vectors that i know about they are supposed to have direction right so but in this case the answer would yes, be price yes 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 let's discuss then a little bit uh, about matrices before discussing these linear systems let's sir uh, one question let me remind you something uh, few things about matrices ji beta bole sir a ke upar bar kyun nahi hai a is also a vector here right no a is a matrix a is not a vector is not a vector theek hai basically dekhiye matrices ko agar hum discuss karte hain let's discuss what is a matrix first theek hai you should be clear about matrices and vectors these uh, these are also matrices but they are uh, equally uh, vectors as well theek hai that's why we are going to put here dekhiye matrices मैं भी थोड़ा सा डिफ्रेंशिएट करने के लिए आपको sir. थोड़ी सी नोटेशन की जरूरत होती है जनरल मैट्रिक्स यस जी बेटा सर सर कैन वी मेक अ स्टेटमेंट दैट एक्स एंड वाई आर वेक्टर्स व्हाट दे आर लाइक गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैट्रिक्स इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म लेट मी लेट मी गिव यू बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ दीज थिंग्स देन यू कैन आस्क मी एनी क्वेश्चन ओके एनी मैट्रिक्स ए Uh, it can be written as a11 a12 so on a1n uh, a21 a22 so on a2n and so on and so on am1 am2 so on amn this is a matrix uh, is a matrix of order what's its order order is number of rows how many rows are there m and how many columns are there n n so the order of any matrix is number of rows times number of columns theek okay? hai and uh, this is called is is basically is a rectangular matrix rectangular matrix because its order is m cross n where m and n are not equal theek okay? hai in general we say it a rectangular matrix if their number of rows and number of columns are not equal if m and n are equal square agar aapke paas number of rows and number of columns same ho then we call it square matrix ठीक है लेट मी राइट हेट सम वेर हेयर ठीक है अ रेक्टेंगुलर मैट्रिक्स कैन बी ऑफ दिस फॉर्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आर बेसिकली यू कैन से ए इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स so it is a rectangular matrix because it has two rows and three columns okay we have two rows and three columns another matrix b is equal to 1 2 3 
five. This is its order is what two cross three, and its order is what two cross two. So this B is a square matrix. Square matrix means it has uh, equal number of rows and columns. A rectangular matrix means it has different number of rows and columns. We call it a rectangular matrix. Okay. A rectangular matrix can be uh, of this form as well. Uh, you can say one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is again, uh, it has three rows and two columns. It is again a rectangular matrix. It has three rows and two columns. Okay. You can, I hope you can uh, write the order of a matrix. Three rows, two columns, two rows, two columns, two rows, three columns. Another matrix B, it can contain only one entry as well. It has one row and one column. You cannot have empty matrix. Okay? A matrix must have uh, entries. And the general definition of a matrix is uh, given in my lecture notes, you can read it. A, a matrix is, in, is a rectangular array in which the entries might be real numbers or complex numbers. But here in this course, we are only dealing with uh, real entries. Now, any matrix of this form now, D, E, for example, a, a E matrix, one, two, three. This is a matrix with three rows and one column. Okay. Another matrix, maybe F, it can be written as uh, minus one, two, and three. This is another matrix, which is, uh, whose order is one cross three. But they are matrices, but in order to uh, basically make the compatible notation with the vectors, because they are just like vectors. It is a vector, it is again a vector. We denote them not with the capital letters, we denote them with the small letters with the bar. Okay, X, maybe Y. They are matrices. Their order is, its order is three cross one, and its order is three cross, one cross three. They are matrices, but they are also vectors as well. So we call them vectors, but not matrices. This is basically, in fact, is a column vector. Column vector, and this is called a row vector. Okay. If in a vector, if we have only one column, we call it column vector. It is still a matrix. But in order to uh, basically justify or to make compatible with the vectors notation, we call them vectors. They're still matrices. But we call them this, we'll, we'll call it column vector and we call it a row vector. If a matrix uh, has only one column, we call it column vector. If a matrix has only one row, we call it a row vector. And we denote them by using small letters, small alphabets with the bar above or under that letter. I hope you get it. Any question? Uh, yes, the, the matrix D, it has one row and one column. So can we also call it a vector? Uh, it's a basically a scalar. Vector must have a direction. A scalar cannot have direction. So uh, you, you can say or you cannot say there is confusion. Um, uh, you can say it, A vector must have a direction. Now, you have scalars on the real line, pe, only real, real line. For example, if you have three here, it doesn't have any direction. In order to define the direction of a vector, you must have at least a two-dimensional plane. If you have a vector here, one, maybe one. 
so it must it will have a direction a single numbers they are scalars they cannot have direction so you you should not say this as a vector sir for so, example so, agar 3 ke niche 0 par wo likha na ho to sir uh, uske to phir direction nahi na dekhi ye single number hai single numbers are basically they represented on uh, real line they do not have any direction so direction ke liye you must have at least two components of that factor in two dimension so yeah, i hope you get it yes sir, it you? makes sense so but for this uh, x and y vectors like 1 2 3 then these have to be represented on a 3d uh, plane x y z plane yes agar aapke paas ye vector hai with with three entries agar aapke paas ek column hai teen rows hain then this vector must be represented on three dimension x y z so this is your x component this is your y component this is your z component right sir. okay similarly this is a vector and you should represent this vector in in 3d okay this is your x component this is your y and this is your z component so what if so now my follow up question is that what if we add one more component in in our x and y a then you uh, have vectors. to represent it in in 4d and so if we add 10 more components then you have to represent it in 10d so it's simple as that ठीक है अगर आपके पास एक वेक्टर में टेन कंपोनेंट्स हैं देन इट कैन ओनली बी रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन टेन डी नॉट ऑन थ्री डी राइट सर राइट आई गॉट ठीक है बट यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन इट व्हाट वुड बी द टाइप ऑफ और व्हाट वुड बी द शेप ऑफ टेन डी उसमें आपके पास टेन वर्टिकली आप कह सकते हो कि और लाइन होनी चाहिए इन ऑर्डर टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट वैक्टर If a vector has ten components, and sir, okay? in the it's, nature it's, of the world we are living right now, is it possible to imagine a ten D? Yes, because you need to have on a computer. Idea. You, you on computer you can imagine four D, five D, ten D, okay, hundred D. These there should be mutually orthogonal ten lines in order to describe the ten D. Because you have just two D. What happens in two D? टू म्यूचुअली और थॉगनल स्ट्रेट लाइन है ठीक है इन थ्री डी क्या है थ्री म्यूचुअली और थॉगनल लाइन है इन फोर डी क्या होना चाहिए फोर म्यूचुअली और थॉगनल लाइन है इन टेन डी क्या होना चाहिए टेन म्यूचुअली और थॉगनल लाइन लाइन ठीक है यू कैन ओनली इमेजिन इट ठीक है बट यू कैन ड्रॉ इट योर सेल्फ आई होप यू कैर इट ना थैंक यू uh i hope you have a little basic knowledge about matrices and vectors uh any confusion about matrices and vectors now uh, no sir, sir so i just wanted to uh, yes, ask a clarification about the direction so uh, in the case that uh, the example that you gave with the uh, bananas and apples uh, our vectors would be 27 and 18 yes so for th the direction for that would be the fact that they could go up in price and down in price uh let's discuss it graphically in the form of uh, maybe in the form of vectors okay you have this coefficient matrix the prices are basically uh shown in this matrix now you have a matrix let me a person want to admit in we have a matrix for example a it is one, sorry 3 2 1 4 so you have two columns in it 3 1 and 2 4 okay you assume that these are two uh, vectors in r2 x and y sorry not x and y any other uh, maybe uh, ab me x yahan pe isko keh diya na तो आप इसको u वेक्टर कह दें एंड इसको आप v वेक्टर कह दें लेट्स प्लॉट देम इन टू डायमेंशन प्लेन सो दिस इज योर बेसिकली x दिस इज योर y सो द फर्स्ट वेक्टर इज 3 1 व्हेन x इज 3 y इज 1 सो दिस इज योर वेक्टर ठीक है इसकी डायरेक्शन ये है ठीक है द अदर वेक्टर्स इज 2 4 हियर यू हैव मे बी 1 1 2 3 एंड 1 2 3 4 So, आपके पास टू फोर एक्स टू है और वाई फोर है 
Now this is your second vector. This is your first vector three one, and this is your two four second vector. Okay, you have two vectors now. Graphically, uh, this linear system it doesn't have anything to do with the directions and vectors. You only have to solve it simultaneously, uh, and you get the value of x and y. The the charges the shopkeeper uh, took from you against your three bananas. Okay, this is your x, and y is what the money rupees uh, the shopkeeper took from you against two apples. First day and second day uh, on this pattern. Now you need to solve this problem. There is no physics behind it. You are not talking about the directions. When we discuss moving things, for example, a car is moving, uh, an aeroplane is moving, then we talk about the directions. This problem, nothing, doesn't have anything to do with the directions. You get the first thing. The second thing, if you want to involve or the, if you want to see that uh, in this context, context, this problem, you assume that this is a vector. This is a vector. You display it on. Uh, the x y plane. Now, this is the first vector, and this is the second vector. These two are independent vectors, linearly independent vectors. They are linearly independent vectors. And if we try to make a parallelogram, uh, we can make a parallelogram uh, out of these like out of these vectors. Yahan pe Iska parallel vector ye hoga, iska parallel vector ye hai. Now, what is this? This is a parallel graph. Now, what will be the area of this parallelogram? Area of this parallelogram is the determinant of A. It is the determinant of A is what? It is the area of parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay. If you have these two vectors linearly independent, if they are not linearly independent, they are collinear, or uh, if they are parallel, then can you make a parallelogram out of those two vectors? If the vectors no, are collinear, or if the vectors are collinear, or if they are parallel, can you find? Uh, can you make a parallelogram out of these two vectors? Not Obviously, possible. no. In that case, would you be able to find the determinant or would you be no. able to find the area of that parallelogram? No, sir. No. Okay. So, is killing a uh, a jo hai, is ka determinant kya hoga area of the parallelogram? Agar ye dono vectors jo hai, if these two vectors are, agar aap bas ek vector yahan pe hai, okay, dusra vector is ke parallel hai. Okay. This is your u vector and this is your v vector. Can you make a parallelogram? No. What would be the area in that case? Determinant in this case, determinant of this matrix will be zero because you cannot find the area of that parallelogram and you even you can cannot make the parallelogram. Okay. Again, if the vectors are collinear, if the one vector is this and the other vector is again this, if these two again. vectors are collinear again, we cannot make the parallelogram out of these two vectors, and we cannot find the area of that parallelogram. What does that mean? Uh, the area of these two straight lines, we cannot find the area of straight lines. In that case, the deter determinant of that coefficient matrix must be zero. Okay. If this, the coefficient of this uh, matrix, sorry, if the determinant of this matrix is zero, what does it mean that the, the two vectors are either they are parallel or they are collinear. Okay, so this determinant kya hoga phir? zero hoga. And we cannot solve this system uniquely. And we cannot solve this system uniquely. We cannot find the solution of x and y. Then there will be some other possibilities. Uh, there might exist no solution or there might exist infinite many solutions. We'll discuss this uh, after this thing. Okay. When can 
uh, when we have a unique solution of this apple and banana problem, when we cannot solve it, for example, let me uh, give you the situation in which the two vectors, uh, these two vectors are parallel or they are collinear. Agar uh, see example ko me thoda sa change kar dein. Um, sir, if we do yeah. find the determinant, what value would that represent? That value represents the area of that parallelogram. No, but sir, matab in uh, the real life, matab, what would it mean? What it's just the number of fruits you're buying. Is that it? No, it's basically it's a uh, it's a constant. It's basically uh, a criteria which tells you that. these two vectors are linearly independent they're not collinear they're not parallel if the determinant is non zero then we can solve this system uniquely this determinant tells you if you want to know what physically it means you can say that it is basically the area of that parallelogram okay it doesn't give you anything about this apple and banana problem so can i ask a question ji beta so in 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 this um, scalar matrix 3 1 2 4 so what changes do we need to do in order to make it collinear or parallel vector uh, i'm going to tell you this by when it comes i'm i'm, I'm going to tell you this if i so write the, 3x plus uh, maybe 6y is equal to 9 and x plus 2y is equal to maybe uh uh 3 1 2 6 and 3 now you can see that the second first equation is a multiple of second equation theek okay? hai you have here if we if you try to write this system into a matrix form you can have 3 6 1 2 uh times x y equal to 9 3 theek okay? hai in fact this vector or this column uh, this column is a multiple of this column if we you call it u and you call it v then v can be obtained uh, by multiplying 2 with u v is 2 times u you can see that this here we have 6 and 2 and here we have 1 and 3 now in that case what they are they are collinear one vector is basically uh, two times the first vector theek okay? hai they have same direction but only the magnitude of these two vectors is different the first vector 3 1 is what is 1 2 3 1 1 this one. this is the vector 3 1 now the second is what 2 6 yahan pe 2 aa gaya यहां पे अगर आप ये कर लें सॉरी सिक्स टू नॉट पहले आपने थ्री वन किया फिर सिक्स टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स यहां पे सिक्स आ गया और फिर यहां पे टू आ गया तो सेकंड वेक्टर जो होगा बेसिकली सेम को लीनियर वेक्टर होगा डायरेक्शन उसकी वही होगी बट उसका मैग्नीट्यूड डिफरेंट होगा वी के नॉट सॉल्व दिस लीनियर सिस्टम यूनिकली वी के नॉट फाइंड यूनिक वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई because technically we have only one equation the other equation is just a multiple of the first equation so shouldn't it be vector v is equal to 3 two se multiply kare na 3 2 is 6 and 2 1 is 2 ठीक है, जीरो 
because the vectors are not linearly independent they are not different from each other they are identical they have same direction okay so we cannot make here parallelogram the determinant is zero we cannot solve this system uniquely okay i hope you get it any question question So am I audible now? Yes, I can listen. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, sir. So I was saying, shouldn't it be three uh, vector u in the last line, sir? Me? V. So the vector v should be equal to three vector u. Three? Why, brother? That because when we uh, multiply okay. the. What is with... your u? What is your u? It is three one. So. आप इसको किससे मल्टीप्लाई करें तो v आ जाएगा हा? इसको आप मल्टीप्लाई करें ना आप कैसे मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं किसी वेक्टर को स्केलर से टू से मल्टीप्लाई करें यहां पे भी टू से सो वॉट डू गेट थ्री टू जार सिक्स एंड टू वन जार टू सो यू वॉट वॉट डू यू गेट हेयर v बिकॉज इट इज सिक्स टू वी शुड मल्टीप्लाईड बाय टू राइट सर ठीक है any other question regarding this discussion we have uh, done today about the apple banana problem uh, we'll discuss the possibilities of uh, solutions in the next lecture uh, what is a general linear system okay and uh, you can have obviously three items as well you can make a 3 by 3 system uh, in sir, that case ji 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 beta sir ji bole in this equation which you have written 3x plus 6y is equal to 9 and x plus 2y is equal to uh, 3 mm -hmm. so whenever like we have an equation like this uh, a system of uh, solutions like this uh, and we like multiply a particular equation like in this example multiply the second equation with 3 and our both variables x and y cancel out we have just this yes. one way of looking at that when our both variables for example we have just two variables over here x and y they cancel out then it has to be collinear or they are parallel Like there are other simple. methods this is basically just a uh, you can say a basic uh, technique to look at whether these two vectors are collinear or not but when we'll work in higher dimensions three dimension four dimension 10 dimensions means when we have a linear equation a linear system in 10 variables <laughs> and 10 equations then obviously we cannot check whether one equation is a multiple of other or not then right. in that case we'll definitely have advanced methods and advanced techniques to check whether the system is uh, uh system uh, can be solved uniquely or not okay there are techniques we'll discuss them later right, on sir. basically right. you people have very limited knowledge about the matrices that's why i chose the example of 2 uh, by 2 okay right. two equations and two unknowns we can obviously have another item which you buy from market for example Three uh, banana, six apples, and uh, maybe two mangoes. Okay, or two chocolates, whatever. Okay, and the shopkeeper charge you maybe fifty dollars or fifty rupees. And this is the day one. Okay, this is your day one shopping, and your day two shopping is you bought one banana, two apple, and plus maybe. uh here you bought two chocolates and now you you bought four chocolates and he charge you with a 70 rupees or 70 dollars but now uh you must have in order to find the solution uniquely you must have another equation day three shopping you took two bananas maybe five apples and one chocolate and he charged to maybe 65 rupees now you need to solve this system it has three equations and three unknowns theek hai it can be written in a matrix form in this way 3 6 2 1 2 4 2 5 1 2 5 1 z now you are going to have a 3 by 3 system theek hai so iska matlab hame square matrix banana zaruri hai uh for now it's mandatory to make a scale matrix if uh, you don't have scale matrix then will then uh, 
you have to solve this system. Uh, you cannot have a unique solution of the system, okay? You can have either infinite many solutions or no solution. It depends on the situation. I'll tell you uh, the other two situations in the next lecture. We can have a matrix which is not scared matrix, okay? Or for example, if we have uh, no shopping at day, day three, day one shopping, day two shopping. In that case, we'll have a linear system in three variables, but two equations, okay? We'll discuss this situation in the next lecture, but for now, uh, if you have this scale matrix and this system in three unknowns and three uh, equations, uh, then this will be the situation. And if these three vectors, if they are linearly independent, now uh, you won't have a parallelogram here. You will have what? Parallelopipe in 3D. Okay, if you have three vectors, for example, this one and this one and this one. In that case, uh, I hope you can make it. Uh, it's a parallelogram, not it's a parallelopipe kind of thing. Okay, so this 3D may ek, uh, you can imagine the extension of parallelogram into 3D. 3D. If you can make that parallelogram, then the determinant of this coefficient matrix will be what? The, the determinant of this matrix will be not area in 3D. What do we have of picture? Surface area. Volume. Volume, yes. In that case, the determinant of these three column vectors will be the volume of that parallelopipe. Parallelopipe is what we vectors independent, vector is collinear or parallel, can you make parallel piped with these no. two vectors? No. In that case, you cannot make parallel piped and you cannot have a volume of that figure. So In that I... case, the determinant must be zero. So if we have, if like we have three uh, column vectors over here and F1 is a collinear with another one, so it should yes. be. 2D type of shape in a yeah, 3D. It, it will become 2D. Plane. It will become a parallelogram. But yes, in so. three dimension, if you want to find the unique solution of the linear system, then you must have a parallelopiped, not parallelogram. So that, Again, that is you know, like... vectors linearly independent, nahi hai, so your determinant jo hoga, coefficient matrix ka, wo zero. Hoga because Aap parallel pipe ka hi volume find kar sakte hai, parallelogram ka volume nahi hoga, wo area hoga. Yes, yes, sir, that is my point. Yes. To, so we get the area. Determinant aapko area nahi dega. Okay. Wo sirf aapko volume dega. So whenever we are in uh, 3D plane, we, yes. are, we are like getting a uh, volume from the determinant, uh, irrespective of the fact that if one of the vectors uh, is collinear and a uh, 2D shape is found in 3D plane, uh, you won't be getting volume, right? Yes, You uh, obviously there'll be no volume. How can you get the volume? Right, sir. Okay. You get parallelogram, you have a 2D me a or determinant 3D me a volume dega, or 2D area ni dega. So if you have shape 2D, mein aa gai hai, 3D, mein hai nahi, so you cannot find the volume. It's technically wrong. The determinant should be zero. I hope you get okay, it. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Technically, it is wrong. Na? Yes, technically, it's wrong. OK, I hope you get it. So let's yes, stop sir. this lecture today. Uh, we'll discuss different. Uh, it's basically an introductory kind of lecture. I. I wanted to revise your concepts in 2D and 3D of linear equations. Uh, in the next lecture, we shall start proper uh, formal sir, discussion sir, regarding the linear system. Uh, introductory crawling, because uh, uh, many from the small winter break. Sir, I have one question. Sir, I have one last question.